Welcome to Listpedia. It's time to count down the top 10 crazy crocodile attacks. Note, in this list we include both crocodile and alligator attacks. Number 10. Crocodile on a Plane No, this is not a sequel to Snakes on a Plane. This is a true story. During an internal flight operating over the Democratic Republic of Congo, a crocodile that had been smuggled on board and stowed away in a carrier bag escaped. Dun dun dun. The terrified passengers caused a stampede while trying to escape, which caused the plane to spin out of control and crash. One passenger survived to tell the surprising tale, and even more surprising was that the crocodile also survived the crash. It was during the salvage mission that the searcher found the crocodile and finally killed it with a machete. Number 9. Crocodile vs. Little Girl it's a common fear for little kids. You go swimming in a pool, and there's a shark trapped inside there with you. Okay, that doesn't usually happen. But for one eight-year-old girl in South Africa, she experienced something very similar. It was late in the afternoon when Anke and a five-year-old boy went to cool off in the swimming pool. They were taking turns jumping in when, unbeknownst to them, a crocodile jumped in after Anke. With its teeth clamped on her upper thigh, the little girl fought to reach the surface, where she called for help. A family friend was the first to reach her, and despite the crocodile biting his hand, he managed to poke out the crocodile's eyes. That is one brave family friend. Number 8. Golfer vs. Alligator In 2009, 80-year-old Jim Weincheck had been enjoying a leisurely game of golf when he arrived at the 11th hole. His ball landed beside a small lagoon, so he reached down to retrieve it. Much to Weincheck's surprise, a large alligator burst out of the water, biting off his right arm. Weincheck later sued the golf course, and despite the lawyer for the golf course claiming they had no control over the acts of a wild animal, Weincheck was granted an undisclosed settlement. But he'll never golf again. Number 7. Alligator vs. Teenage Boy Caleb Langdale, a 17-year-old, was swimming in the Caloosahatchee River in Florida with some friends when he was attacked by an alligator. He was able to grab a hold of the alligator under the jaw, but he lost his grip when the alligator's tail came around hitting him. Caleb had to make a split-second decision and chose to sacrifice his arm for his life. The alligator bit off his forearm, giving Caleb enough time to escape to his friends. With more quick thinking, Caleb used cobwebs and pressure to staunch the blood flow, and despite the alligator and arm being found, it was too far gone to reattach. Number 6. Crocodile vs. Kite Surfer Chris Keeping, a man from Darwin, Australia, was enjoying a day of kite surfing. It was only 11.30 in the morning, and he was wading in the water as his kite untangled. During this time, Keeping felt something unseen hit him. A crocodile had approached him from behind, biting his right side, including his shoulder and chest. By holding onto the floating kite, Keeping was able to stay above the surface. He initially went limp, but he knew he needed to fight back. Sticking his finger in the crocodile's eye, the crocodile released its grip, giving Keeping the time to make a dash for the shore. Number 5. Crocodile vs. Poacher Along the Zambezi River between Zimbabwe and Zambia, a group of British tourists got the shock of a lifetime. They were on a sunset cruise when their guide directed their attention to a feeding croc. But this meal wasn't a zebra or other animal, it was a person. At the time, the tourists saw the crocodile. All that was left was the bottom half of the victim, still wearing pants. The guide and the natives didn't seem surprised by the sight and suspected the victim to be a poacher that had been in the area two days earlier. Number 4. Crocodile vs. Goose Hunter Another Australian croc story. Stephen Marine and his cousin 
brother were out goose hunting one day when they had a frightful encounter with a crocodile believed to have been two meters long. While retrieving a goose they had shot, a crocodile launched out of the water, grabbing hold of Maureen's right arm. The croc went into a death roll, and Maureen poked it in the eye, making it let go. Despite the vicious attack, it was thanks to being a little tipsy that he felt no pain. Number 3. Crocodile vs. Man in Tree David George, an Australian man, was out riding his horse one day when he failed to notice it had led him straight into crocodile-infested land. The safest place for George was up in a tree, where he spent eight long days and nights. At the bottom of the tree remained two crocodiles who taunted George with their red eyes and bellowing noises. It was thanks to the Australian Army, Police, SES, and Aboriginal trackers that he was finally found. Number 2. Zoo Worker vs. Crocodile Zoo workers are supposed to know how to behave around wildlife, especially dangerous wildlife like crocodiles. But here's one that will need a refresher course. At the Shaoshan Zoo, located in Taiwan, Zoo worker Chang Puyu's forearm was bitten off by a crocodile he thought had been fully anesthetized. Luckily, his fellow workers were able to work quickly, shooting off two rounds which shocked but not hurt the crocodile and allowed them to retrieve Puyu's forearm, which was able to be successfully reattached. Number 1. Crocodile vs. Surfboarder When you go to the beach, you feel secure knowing that lifesavers are there to help if something goes wrong. Unfortunately, at a beach in Tamarindo, Costa Rica, there are no lifesavers. So it was down to the locals to help when a crocodile attacked a man on a surfboard. Spaniard Aiden Riviera was being chased by a seven-foot-long croc. Luis Siquiera yelled out to him to face the croc and try and intimidate it. The crocodile continued slashing and biting Riviera. Siquiera started yelling and smacking his surfboard against the water. He managed to make the croc retreat, but then it spotted some other swimmers, a Swiss couple. The Swiss man made it to safety, but Siquiera had to help propel the woman who was riding a board out of harm's way. Riviera somehow escaped and only lost a fingernail in the whole process. A lesson learned from this story is don't try and stand up to a crocodile. Thanks for watching Listpedia. For more great top 10 lists, subscribe and ye shall receive.